Welcome to EMTB videos. Try E, a Norwegian company that offers EMTBs for hire, invited us to do a first ride review of Rossignol e-bikes. The Rossignol e-track Trail 2 is the entry level uh, Rossignol full suspension EMTB. And it's a nice one. I've got uh, one complaint and that's the seat post. There is no dropper post. So when uh, riding hard and having fun, we have to stop a lot and change the saddle height. Other than that, it's a sorted bike. Um, it's got the Shimano BT8020. That's the old Shimano 500 watt hours integrated battery, just like uh, the other top of the line E-Track trail model. But uh, unlike the other model, it has got the Shimano E7000 motor. And uh, it's a less powerful motor, but uh, it's still a nice motor. Um, when you're riding in a boost, it's noticeably weaker, but uh, it's also a more silent and it's a pleasant motor. It's got a great uh, power to control ratio, so you can ride it in the highest assistance mode and it still feels uh, easy to control. Then there's the display, that's also the E7000 display, and I kind of like it. It's a black and white, simple, small display, but the uh, Bluetooth connection is way easier on this display. For that reason, I prefer that over the E8000 display. And you got the E6000 unit here as well, a bit smaller than the E8000 unit. Suspension is Suntour. Suntour, an air shock. It's a, well, it's a decent shock. It works. Uh, just like the fork, which is uh, a Suntour Ion with a 34 mm tension width. Both of these components uh, are sort of the same. They feel very loose at the top of the travel. So you, you get a sort of a uncertain feeling when uh, sitting high in the travel, just when getting on the bike. And when riding downhill and floating over stuff, you can sort of feel a bit uncertain about the, how much tire grip and how much contact you really have with the surface. But as soon as you hit the turn and you put a lot of weight on the bike, it settles down very nicely. So it doesn't feel out of control when, uh, when you're going hard. Then there's the drivetrain. It's the Shimano Diore 10 speed. And I'm happy with it, 11, 42 teeth cassette range uh, and a clutch. And it's basically all you need to ride uh, steep climbs and uh, rough descents. Nowhere near top of the line, but uh, I, it's good enough. Then there's the brakes. Not my favorite lever, it's a bit long reach, but uh, the cheaper Shimano MT400 and 420 brakes use this kind of lever and um, brake feel is good, uh, easy to modulate and it feels powerful enough. And the calipers are the single caliper, the BT420, but I'm not sure, could be the BT400 as well. So the E-Track Trail 2 is missing the dropper post, which was annoying, but that can be retrofitted. And the suspension is a step down from the RockShox kit found on the more expensive E-Track Trail. So which one of these two bikes should you get? I'd say that depends on the price. In Norway the E-Track Trail 2 is 41,500 kroners while the better spec model is 45,000 kroners. It's just 3,500 separating the two bikes. If you want a capable trail bike, I don't think one should sacrifice better brakes, suspension and a dropper post for so little money. But if we look at the EU prices, things is a bit different. At 3,900 euros, the Trail 2, is 600 euros cheaper than the e-track trail. That makes the cheaper bike look a bit more interesting. 
Now, if you're after a basic EMTB for just rolling about in comfort, then the Trail 2 will be great. But so will a lot of cheaper EMTBs. If you're not going to take advantage of the Trail capabilities, then I guess looks and price matters the most. And the Trail 2 looks good. I like this yellow greeny color mixed with dark blue. Since we care about trail capabilities, I'd say go with the more expensive model if possible. But the cheaper Trail 2 has a lot going for it. The center suspension will handle trails at some speed, and this bike has the same frame geometry as the more expensive model. It's got a slack 65.25 degrees head angle, 445mm chainstays, and a low-ish bottom bracket height of just under 340mm. It's also pretty lightweight. At about 23.5 kilos, it's half a kilo lighter than its sibling, and that makes it possibly an even more playful bike. E-Track Trail 2 is a nimble bike that will let you blast trails with a fair amount of control. Although not the most capable climber, it has the motor and frame geometry to get you up some seriously steep hills. Like I said when we reviewed the more expensive model, most of all it's a playful descender. We were all over the trails at good speed searching for challenges.